The Jumbos are coming. London's Heathrow Airport took the arrival of the world's first fully loaded jumbo jet with surprising ease. But the huge airliner attracted a large number of pressmen and had members of the public thronging the vantage points to get a better look at the aircraft which will revolutionise the future of civil aviation. They'd never seen anything like it before, but they'll be seeing a lot more in the years ahead. The towering 747 had flown from New York in a little over six and a half hours with 381 people on board. Its arrival had been much heralded, its claims to fame much publicised. Now it was the turn of British pressmen and VIPs to try it for themselves. There were hundreds of them and plenty of room for all. In its gleaming white and blue livery, the 747 towered high above anything else on the aprons of one of the world's busiest international airports. There were teething troubles, but almost sedately the liner of the skies prepared to show Britain what she could do. The green light from the control tower set the super jet rolling, the huge engines making surprisingly less noise than smaller aircraft. One observer commented that it seemed as though the QE2 had taken to the sky. The cabin is 20 feet wide and 186 feet long. The 747 has a range of more than 5,000 miles and cruises at 625 miles an hour. Six expertly designed galleys and their equipment streamline the process of feeding up to 490 passengers. That's the maximum the 747 can carry. There are 14 stewardesses to attend to the needs of the flying masses. In the economy cabin, seating is nine abreast, providing two aisles for freedom of movement. The jumbo jet has brought a new dimension to air travel, space. More room for more passengers and this plane is the dawn of the flying age for millions. Already there is talk at Boeing's of airliners that will dwarf even the 747. The excitement of flying is giving way to new standards of luxury coupled with fair economy. This giant of the skies heralds a new spacious age. <laughs>